If you like our video, click the button to subscribe to our channel and get easy access to new content. To see our full suite of ad-free video courses, instruction manuals, and quick reference guides, visit us at www.teachucomp.com. Although you do not have to be fluent in accounting terminology to understand QuickBooks, it is necessary to have a basic understanding of some accounting concepts before entering information into the program. The first concept to discuss is the chart of accounts. A chart of accounts is a listing of all the accounts used within your company file. You can open the chart of accounts by selecting Lists, Chart of Accounts from the menu bar. Your chart of accounts shows the names of the accounts used by your company, the account type, like income, bank, or one of the many other QuickBooks account types, and the current balance of the account. There is also a column called Attach, which shows any attached documents associated with the account. You can double-click this column to open a dialog box that lets you attach documents from your computer, from a scanner, or from the Doc Center for free. These attached files are stored locally on your computer in QuickBooks. You will now examine the general account types found within the Chart of Accounts and how they are organized. The Chart of Accounts has a default sorting method. Assets appear at the top, followed by liabilities, then equity. These accounts are also shown in the balance sheet report for your company. Following those accounts within the Chart of Accounts window are the Income Accounts, followed by the Expense Accounts. These accounts appear within the Profit and Loss report. At the very bottom of the Chart of Accounts window are accounts for non-posting transactions, like purchase orders and estimates. As mentioned before, at the top of the Chart of Accounts window you will see the Balance Sheet accounts which appear on the Balance Sheet for your company file. These accounts show what you own, your assets, what you owe, your liabilities, and the difference, or equity. Below those accounts, you will find the income and expense accounts, which track where money comes from and what it is spent on, respectively. Each balance sheet account has a register associated with it. Unlike the balance sheet accounts, the income and expense accounts each have a report that lists the transactions associated with the account. We will look at these types of accounts in more detail in later chapters, but let's now review a general list of the different types of accounts shown within the Chart of Accounts window and whether they appear in the balance sheet or the profit and loss statement within QuickBooks. So as mentioned earlier, first you have your balance sheet accounts. The first account shown are assets. Assets are what you own and what other people owe to you. More specifically, the money that people owe you is called your accounts receivable. Other assets may include checking account money, inventory, fixed assets like computers, and undeposited funds from customers. Also note that when you set up your company file in QuickBooks, although checking, savings, and petty cash are all company assets, you'll set them up as bank-type accounts in QuickBooks. The available types of accounts that are assets are bank, accounts receivable, fixed asset, other current asset, and other asset. Next come the liabilities. Liabilities are what you owe to others. The unpaid bills that you have are specifically referred to as your accounts payable. A liability can be a loan, an unpaid bill, or taxes owed. Also note that when you set up your company file in QuickBooks, although credit cards are company liabilities, you'll set them up as credit card type accounts in QuickBooks. The other types of accounts that are liabilities are credit card, accounts payable, other current liability, and long-term liability. Equity is the difference between what you have, your assets, and what you owe, your liabilities. The basic formula for calculating equity is your sum assets less your sum liabilities equals equity. Equity is seen as representing the health of your business. Equity can come from three different sources, investor money, current year profits, or retained earnings, which are profits from past years that haven't been distributed to shareholders. The only available type of account for equity is the equity account type. Next, we'll look at the profit and loss statement accounts, also called the income statement accounts. First, you'll see your income accounts. Your income accounts are used to track the income generated by your company. Next, you'll see expense accounts. Expense accounts are used to track where your company's money was spent. Remember to click the subscribe button to see more of our videos.
See our full suite of courses, instruction manuals, and quick reference guides at www.teachucomp.com.